Hey, and welcome back to another video. Today, I would like to try something new. So if it doesn't work, then please bear with me and don't be too mean in the comments. I've done quite a few videos recently where I'm taking you guys behind the scenes on some of the shoots we do for Food Tribe and Drive Tribe, and they seem to do really well. You seem to enjoy them, which is great. But there are loads of videos that we shot for Drive Tribe before I started the YouTube channel, and for which I don't really have any behind the scenes content. So I thought what we could do today is watch one of those videos together and I can give you an insight to what happened in the day, any issues we had, any fun anecdotes and things like that. The video I've chosen to watch today is James May's Mirai vs Tesla review, which we filmed just over a year ago and posted on Christmas Day last year. I'm going to pop in some AirPods so there's no audio issues and then have a watch with you. Okay, let's watch. Hello viewers, here are two electric cars. One of them may be the future, or it could be both of them, or it may be neither of them. We don't know what's just around the corner because if we did, we'd be there. Meanwhile, let's... So we filmed this video in mid-December last year and we met at this location, which is a hydrogen fueling station near Heathrow, just after sunrise and it was freezing. I remember being so cold and everyone complaining all day about how cold they were. But I felt especially bad for James because although he did have a really warm coat, he wasn't allowed to wear it because it was really rusty with the microphone. So he had to bear it and just wear a jumper, which wasn't very fun for him. Out. We begin with the blue one, the Tesla Model S 100. We filmed our in-car piece camera in the Tesla as we left London around 11 a.m. And when we do this, what we do is mount a camera to the inside of the car and have it rolling pretty much continuously. So we often get a lot of stuff that we don't end up using in the final edit. And in this case, as it was 11 a.m., James was already thinking about food. And we have a big chunk of footage, I think, where he's just talking about what to have for lunch. I'll see if I can find it in the rushes and pop it in right now. What time is it? Quarter to 11, this is brilliant. I think we can reward ourselves with a filthy cheeseburger today. What do you reckon? Oh, you don't like cheese? Yeah. Oh, God. I forgot you were weird. How can you not like cheese? There's nothing I won't eat, really. I, I mean, there are some things I'm not bothered about. Broccoli, I think, is immaterial to the world. We could just get rid of it and nobody would notice. And to be honest, pizza, I don't think we really need pizza, but I don't dislike them. I'll eat them. You know, if we were working late at the office and you said, let's get a pizza, I'd have some. I just never order one myself. But you hate cheese. Could you eat a piece of cheese if I gave it to you? It depends what cheese. Just a piece of sort of mousetrap itchy cheddar. Probably not. If I gave you a piece of cheese and said I'll give you 50 quid if you eat this block of cheese, would you eat it? Maybe 100 quid. 100 quid? Really? 0 to 60 takes a fraction over four seconds. But let's not get bogged down in those old 20th century ways of measuring performance. What actually matters is the power band. That a few days before this shoot, I bought a bunch of GoPro Hero 8s, which were pretty new at the time. And we had one of those on the tracking car here that we use for these shots. And we probably filmed tracking shots second to last in the day, so it was going to be quite late. We had a lot of footage on the GoPro. And unfortunately, on the last run, we lost the GoPro at first tracking car and we never found it. It was a dual carriageway, so it wasn't really safe to go out and look. It wasn't on the road itself, it must have fallen into a hedge, so we never found it. And that was so frustrating because not only had I just bought this new GoPro, but we'd lost it at the end of the day, so we'd lost all the footage we'd got from that day. So that was a pretty sad moment. It did an update only last week and the screen now includes Netflix. For this video, we had to film both the Tesla and the Mirai on the road at the same time, and obviously James can't be behind the wheel of both of them, so we enlisted Mike Fernie to drive whichever car James wasn't in, so in case you're wondering who's driving the other car, it's Mike Fernie. Now we come to the essential difference between these two cars. The Tesla is a BEV, a battery electric vehicle. You charge it up like your laptop. The battery itself, down in the floor here, is in fact a giant laptop battery. Actually, it's lots of laptop batteries all joined together. Bloody millions of the buggers. I don't know if you noticed this, but James is talking fairly quickly here. That's because the supercharger station where we were filming was right next to Heathrow Airport and we had planes coming over almost every 30 seconds. So we had to wait for a plane to go past, quickly do a piece of the camera, 
stop, wait for another plane to go past, piece the camera, etc. for the whole charging bit. So it took way longer than it should have, but we should have checked the location beforehand, I guess. A Tesla supercharger, and these are epic. And Netflix. There aren't any decent car shows on Netflix, so I'll just have to watch The Crown. I'm guessing James isn't aware that pretty much all of the old top gear is on Netflix. Or as the Queen herself calls it when she's watching it, The Crown. So I'm pretty sure James is actually quite a big fan of The Crown. He's definitely up to date with the latest season. A hydrogen fuel cell electric vehicle. Hydrogen, stored in a pressurised tank in the back, feeds the fuel cell to generate electricity on demand. So you fill it up pretty much like a normal car. We were actually really lucky on the day of this shoot that the station that we chose was working. From what James has told me and from my personal experience, it is so hard to find a hydrogen refilling station that is actually working properly. A few weeks after this shoot, Mike and I borrowed the Mirai and took it to Silverstone. And on the way back, we went to, I think, two or three places to try and refuel it. And all three of them failed, which meant that we ended up dropping off May's car with almost no fuel, which was pretty bad of us. So sorry, James. There's actually a bit more to it than that. And I did promise in an earlier video that I'd have an argument with myself about it. And as I seem to have parked up just over there, that's what we, that's what I'll do. We had about 15 minutes in this location to film as many ups and buys of the Tesla and the Mirai as we could, which sounds simple enough, but annoyingly there's a really steep grass verge that we had to climb up with our camera gear, which was quite difficult, so that slowed us down. So we ended up getting just one or two shots in the end, and they weren't great because the car came faster than we expected, and we weren't really in a great position, so that's why you haven't seen very good ups and buys here. Also, I was using a camera that I'm not that used to. I think I've got a clip from my Instagram story on the day that I'll add in here. And yeah, not very good. So sorry about that. Look, everybody knows producing hydrogen is energy inefficient. You need electricity to crack hydrogen and then you turn hydrogen back into electricity. Why not just put electricity straight into the car? Yeah, but in the bright future of abundant, sustainable energy from wind and when we first spoke to James about this idea, he told us he really wanted to end it with this conversation with himself, which normally would be completely fine. But it just so happened that this was the very last shot of the day and we were losing light very quickly, which meant that James didn't really have time to do many takes. So what we did is we got Tom the director and put him in opposite James so that he'd have someone to run the dialogue with so we could get all the timings right. And that would have worked fine, but unfortunately James and Tom just ended up cracking up with laughter so many times that it did take us a while to get it. I think we do have some footage of the takes where they ended up laughing. I'll put them in now so you can have a watch. <laughs> you got to turn mine over as well. <laughs> so how do we edit around that? I don't know. <laughs> uh, yours looks like a Vauxhall insignia. <laughs> You've got ahead of yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Off we go. I've gone the wrong way. I've gone to the wrong side of the car. No one cares. Okay. Yours looks stupid. Yours looks like a Vauxhall. <laughs> That's the end. <laughs> I hope that provides an insight into a video that I wasn't able to do a behind the scenes vlog on. If you enjoyed this format, then please let me know in the comments below and feel free to offer some suggestions for other videos I could do this for. If you made this far in the video, then thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And if I don't upload again before Christmas, Merry Christmas. I hope you have a great one and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.